So when we talk about Ayurveda, we're actually not just talking about therapeutic treatments, we're not just talking about the wonderful uh, uh, massages, we're actually talking about a whole holistic health system that helps support you in mind, body and emotions. So when we look at the Ayurvedic health system, the first thing that an Ayurvedic practitioner will do is actually have a look at your nutrition and have a look at what you're eating and make recommendations according to your constitution, your body type. So in a nutshell, in Ayurveda, there's actually uh, this, uh, this, this concept called the doshas. Dosha actually means force or fault. So it's faults that can be found in the body. In the world, we have the five elements. We have ether, we have air, we have fire, we have water, we have earth. And actually, these three constitutions are made up from these elements. So not only do these elements exist all around us, they actually exist within us as well. And it's the fine balance of these elements that helps manifest the body type, the constitution that we actually have. In a perfect world, we would want those elements within us to be balanced. So for instance, if you're more of a mixer of air and ether, we actually call that a vata constitution. Vata means what moves. When, when a vata constitution is balanced, they're very creative, they have a lot of energy, um, they're full of ideas. But actually, when those, when those elements get out of balance, it can create disharmony in the body. So, you know, we're bouncing off the walls and we're fitting an awful lot into our schedules. However, if, um, if we get out of balance, that can put a lot of pressure on our mind, on our body, on our emotions, and actually the experience that we're having in life in general as well. Then we have another constitution called Pitta. So Pitta, another fabulous Sanskrit word, Pitta actually means what cooks. So it's a cooking energy and it's predominantly made up of the, um, the fire and the water elements. Now if the Pitta constitution gets out of balance, that, that manifests in, in things like, you might see things like inflammation in the body, many um, digestive problems are related to Pitta imbalance. And then finally, we have another constitution called Kapha. So Kapha means what sticks, it's a sticking energy, and Kapha is predominantly the, uh, the water and the earth element. So it's out of the three, it's the grounded force, it's um, nature, Kaffir people, they're very nurturing, they're very compassionate. Um, they don't like change too much because actually they're very comfortable with their environment. And um, they're very loving, they're very giving. So Kaffir people in balance are our nurturers. You know, if Kaffir gets out of balance, because they also need self-care, you know, they need to also check in with themselves and um, make sure that, um, that things are, you know, that, that, that the energy is going two ways, because that's how it works, that um, if they're getting out of balance, they might start to see symptoms like more lethargy in the body, um, so more lethargic. But a more of a heaviness in the body as well. They can put weight on more easily as well. Once you find out your, your body type is, it's amazing. It's quite life, tra life transforming because there's, there's so many different aspects to actually having a look at the way that our mind, our body and our emotions actually interact with each other. Um, so it's really worthwhile doing that.